the Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been the centerpiece of newscasts worldwide for many years. A group of computer game designers decided to take the genre in a new direction and try to give people an idea of the conflict's complexities. The result? Peacemaker, an interactive computer simulation in which you can play the part of the Israeli Prime Minister or the Palestinian Authority Chairman and face the same challenges they face daily. We spoke to one of its creators, Israeli Asi Burak, about the game's power to create understanding of the other side of the conflict. What you just said is the core of our creation, the whole idea that you can play both sides. I mean, the problem with the news today, with, with the way people conceive information, is that it's only one-sided. No matter where we are, even in the U.S., we get one-sided picture, one-sided perspective. And what you, you could do with an interactive game like ours is basically give more than one perspective. People can play both sides. People can feel for the first time in their life what it is to be in the shoes of the other side. What, what does it mean to make choices as the Palestinian side or the Israeli side? And what are the consequences? And many people come back to us and say that they got a revelation out of playing the other side. But one must ask just how realistic such a simulation can be and whether it can capture the intricacies of internal politics on both sides. On the Israeli side, you can't just make concessions and expect that everyone will follow you. We try to really simulate the, the idea that in Israel the security has top priority same in the Palestinian side. Hamas and Fatah are both very important for the Palestinian president, and he has to talk with both of them to reach a solution, if, it, if possible. According to its creator, the game was not biased because he is Israeli. I'm an Israeli, and, and for that reason, I think that actually we made extra efforts to stay balanced. We went to Palestinians, and uh, a few of them were part of the creation. They gave us feedback uh, from the first minute. Uh, later on, when we had uh, more advanced versions, we went to Palestinian organizations. So I think that from both sides, we got at the end of the day a good feedback, and I think that the fact we created two versions helped us because we could actually show two sides, and, and we could show on each version of the game what that side really cares for. And for me, as, as an Israeli, it was an amazing process because for the first time I sat with Palestinians you know, walking with them. It's not only talking with them, it's actually creating something together. It seems Peacemaker has made its impact, and perhaps it is just the harbinger of a whole new type of interactive social impact games. For InfoLive TV, this is David Omen.